Hey, Jen. How are you doing? Hey, David. How are you? Pretty good. What's up? Oh, that much, but we're, we're making a movie. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'll leave you alone. I'll <laughs> All see right. You see, you, see you at the Tech Talk. Yes. Hi, I'm Jen Fitzpatrick, and I'm an engineering director here at Google. We thought you might like to learn a little bit more about what life at Google is really like. So let's go talk to some of the people who know firsthand. Garanka Biedov is an engineer and technical lead in our QA department. Garanka, you've had a pretty interesting career path. Tell us a little bit about your background and how you wound up here at Google. Sure. Uh, immediately after finishing my PhD, I joined Purdue University, where I spent seven years as assistant and associate professor. After that, I joined AT&T Labs, uh, then a storage company in the Valley, and now I'm a part of Google. How are things here at Google different from some of your previous experiences? Several things that I really have enjoyed at Google so far. Uh, for one thing, you're surrounded by very bright, very enthusiastic people, and things happen really quickly. My biggest frustration at some of my previous jobs has been that you would come up with the idea and by the time it went back up uh, and came down and a decision was made, it could be years before anything was done. Here, things seem to happen on the order of days or weeks. You know, life at Google is about more than just work. The Googleplex here is designed to make life for people not only as productive as possible, but also as pleasant as possible. Just ask software engineer Lauren Baptist. She came to Google and never looked back. It's been a really easy transition. The Bay Area is a fantastic place to live. The weather is great, the people are great. You've got San Francisco just 40 minutes away from Google. What about the mentoring program? Has that been helpful? It's been really helpful. As you know, you were my official mentor when I joined. And you were, of course, extremely helpful to me. And over the past four years, I've had a lot of unofficial mentors as well. Lauren, you've been here for almost four years. What's exciting about the work that you do? Well, the problems are, are really, really interesting. And we're working on a product that millions of people use. I mean, that's, that's really exciting. It's fun to go to a party and meet people who've used Gmail, which I worked on for a year. Speaking of exciting work, one of the best perks of being a Google engineer is our famous 20% rule. All engineers at Google get 20% of their time to work on their own projects. So what kinds of things do engineers at Google do with their 20% time? I and a group of friends recently decided that we wanted to work on a project with other women. So about a week ago, we held a brainstorming session with about 15 women where we discussed all of our product ideas. My 20% project was to create a rotating globe that shows where in the world Google users are searching from. We introduced a feature on Google.com where you can type in the name of a movie and a zip code and it will return to you a list of theaters around that area, along with show times, movie information, and reviews. To further stimulate our minds, we have an ongoing series of educational talks. We call them Tech Talks, and they range in topic from engineering problems to the latest theories about the origin of the universe. Of course, we Googlers don't just have big appetites for knowledge. Appetite around here can also lead to something that we call the dreaded Google 15. So the Google 15 is the 15 pounds that you gain with all of the amazing free snacks and organic food that they provide for us here. Right. Although, if you do overindulge, there are always plenty of opportunities to work it off. As you can see, balancing life and work is very important to us here at Google. For all the moms and dads that we have, Google's new child care center just may be one of its most valuable programs. One of Google's parents is Leora Wiseman, a software engineer and mom to two kids. I had a baby about eight months ago. Um, it was really convenient. I had some time off before and uh, 12 weeks after I got takeout right after the delivery for two weeks for my whole family. Um, we had, uh, they sent us flowers, so we had like 75% pay for the whole 12 weeks, which was really convenient. And then coming back, there was a mother's room that I could pump milk and um, take care of the other stuff that I had to take care of. Sounds like that's really great. Has it also been helpful to have flexible hours? Yeah, it was definitely helpful when I got back, especially just to work less hours every day at work and do the best that I had to do at home after I spent time with my baby and she was in bed. So, Leora, you came to Google from a small startup company. Google's getting to be pretty big these days. Does it still have that small company feel to it? Yeah, absolutely. You get to work on interesting projects, which don't take ages to launch, and you get to work with really cool people who are very smart and very interested in what they're doing, and you just, you know, you get this startup feeling of getting products out, which is really exciting. 
that's really one of the core ideas to working at Google. Ambitious ideas, fast responses, big achievements. And that's one of the key things that we look for when we're interviewing candidates. As Vice President of Engineering, Alan Eustace has been involved in interviewing a lot of those candidates. It's not a requirement that you have to come from the top engineering school. What is a requirement is that you be passionate about what you're doing, you have a really high energy level, you understand the product space, you want to build great things, and you have a commitment to the kinds of great engineering that I think Google is famous for. You know, a lot of Google's culture, its philosophy, its personality, come from its founders, Larry Page and Sergey Brin. Sergey asked to be in this video, so I think it's only fitting that we give him the last word. I was a software engineer. I was coming out of um, computer science department at Stanford. Um, and we built the place um, in the way that we liked. And as a result, I think we have a great environment for software engineers now. It's incredible in terms of uh, scale, hundreds of millions of users that we have. Finally, I would add, in addition to sort of the size and the ambition, they're technically interesting problems. I mean, to me, it's, it's, it's very fun to work on dealing with all the natural language issues. We have some of the most challenging AI types of pro, pro problems in the world. We also have incredibly challenging systems problems because of the scale that we work at, because of the efficiency that we need out of our machines. Okay, so I have one last burning question. Tell me what kind of shoes you're wearing today. These are my, my Z-coils. Uh, they're my shoes that have a little bit of extra spring on them, and uh, they're sort of uh, high heels for men, so they accentuate my calves nicely. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> what can I say? Google really is a pretty cool place to work. But don't take it from us. Take some time to find out for yourself what life here is really like. Thanks for joining us.